Nathaniel Clifton. I always know he was born with a higher purpose. How much did you know about Sweetwater's story before coming to this film? I'm ashamed to say it, but then again, I'm not, man. I, I knew nothing. I knew who Michael Jordan was and all the greats that came before, but I had no idea who Sweetwater was. Joe Lapchick. Matt Clifton. Some call me Sweetwater. I coach a team called the New York Knickerbockers. Ain't no Negroes playing your league. It's not gonna be like that forever. Your thoughts when you do realize the gravity of this man, what are you thinking? To think about the first African-American to sign an NBA contract, uh, to break that line, to open up the door for so many people I, I herald and respect. And to think that I didn't know who he was, it's just, wow, this is one of those unsung, unknown trailblazers. Right? I mean, even Michael Jordan said, there's no Michael Jordan without Sweetwater. Mm. So for me, just ha to have the opportunity to step into this space and just to learn about this man and then have the responsibility to portray him and present him with an amazing team. Uh, it was just truly humbling and a gift. Sweetwater knows this game better than anyone. I will fight for this. I want to fight with you. Sweetwater, that was your last game wearing a Trotter uniform. Your next game will be in a Nick jersey. What struck you most about the story in terms of learning about him and getting to know him and becoming him, if you will? I think the, the grace, mm -hmm. the grace and the essence of just understanding there's a deeper, le deeper level of, of, of purpose, of truth, no matter what life is presenting you. You know you can't play him. The guy is the future of the NBA. It's like, how do you go through all of these obstacles but still maintain a level of grace, of positivity, and ultimately an understanding of self and value. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of us portray our values, what we do, what we receive. And he had a deeper understanding of knowledge and value um, that's very beautiful. This ain't about the color of my skin. It's about being true to the game of basketball. He completely revolutionized the game and created a beautiful canvas for beautiful players like LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Dr. J, Magic Johnson, like all these guys to kind of build on that platform that Sweetwater presented. Take me to the set. What was it like? What was the the process like that time in your life? What was it like? Well, I mean, this is my first time leading a film, right? And mm -hmm. uh, it's with an all-star cast. Mm -hmm. So I, can't, I went from an unknown name to walking on Warner Brothers lot uh, amongst Richard Dreyfuss, Carrie Elwes, Kevin Pollack, Jeremy Piven. Um, it, it's just a dream come true, right? And it was a beautiful environment. Shout out to Martin Gigi, the director and writer. I mean, this script was cooking for 28 years. Wow. So it was very seasoned and well groomed for me to just step in and be, you know, supported. So it felt like home and uh, it was so much magic. Change is happening, but I don't know that my city can take it. Do you have a hope and prayer for the project now that it is being rolled out in different spaces for us to watch? If people's heart were softened enough to just for a little bit be inspired or find any nuggets about, you know, stepping into the unknown. Yeah, I know these systems systems are in place, but is there a possibility for reforming? Even in my own life, in my own household, in my own family, in my own thoughts, is there room to grow? And I think once you get to that question, you'll, you'll land at a yes, mm. because ultimately we're all living and breathing um, for a higher purpose. So I think that truth lies with all of us. Did you see yourself in him anywhere? Absolutely. Uh, when I was watching videos of him, I saw a, a key, one little key that I noticed. And I was like, hey, you know what? I can kind of relate to that. Mm -hmm. And it was him speaking on how he wished the NBA was able to see what he really could have done. He didn't say that, but I had to kind of read between the lines. He said that when he finally got to the NBA, when he finally endured so much to become the first black player to, to, to cross on that court, right? And play and sign the contract. And it's like, your dreams come true. He was stifled because the other players didn't want him now shine them. So it's like you worked so hard for so long and you battled, am I valuable enough, am I not? And you finally have that opportunity and you never fully express what you can really be in this lifetime. And I know what that feels like as far as, you know, working hard at something and then questioning, am I, do I, can I make it, can I not? And then not fully being able to express something that you feel like you can offer. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of puts you in a weird place as a human being, a very vulnerable place. but. You know, Sweetwater made it through, and it's a beautiful story, and you'll be able to see how he did it. It's unnecessary to have all this razzle-dazzle on our courts, and that's what the Negro players will do. But every time we step on this court, 
It means something. 